Hey guys, it's me again, Joe Diano, aka Twisted Gemini, and welcome to Twisted Gemini TV. Firstly, I want to give a shout out to my friend Travis Wakeman, his wife Jessica, and their son Owen. Hi, Owen. Um, and secondly, I want to say rest in peace to former WWE uh, superstar China, who passed away, and to music legend Prince, who also passed away. The subject of this video is once again Conor McGregor. Now, in case you guys don't know, Conor McGregor put out a statement saying that he wasn't going to retire. And um, his coach, John Kavanaugh, <clears throat> excuse me, basically questioned the fans of what do we want? Do we want fights or do we want promotion? And my thing, much like my friend Travis Wakeman, if you follow, go on my Twitter at Joseph Diano 77 you'll see the conversations where basically I and my friend Travis all both basically say the exact same thing in why should Conor McGregor not have to do the things that are required of him why should Conor McGregor be any different than any other fighter that has to promote their fight that has to go to press junkets and do interviews uh, uh, sit in a room and sign posters, do whatever is required of them for promotion. Why should he be any different? Now, the person that I was in the conversation with on Twitter was basically saying that he's only asking for one time for him to not have to promote and focus on his training. And my my thing is, once, like I said... Why should he be treated any different? Because since MMA first got started, since the UFC first got started, since boxing was started, all combat sports, there's always been promotion. There's always been times where a fighter would have to to uh, uh, stop training and go do an interview or do interviews and such before they started their training camp. And my thing is, like I said, why should Conor McGregor be treated differently? Because why? Because of all the money he brings in? Because of all the publicity that he brings in? Who gives a shit? It's what's, what's required of you. It's what's required of you to do for your company that you work for so that people know what you're doing when it is, who you're fighting, so that way they'll buy the pay-per-views, they'll buy the tickets, they'll buy the programs, the t-shirts, whatever the fuck. And I mean, what is this like, Conor McGregor and his team and his fanboy nation? And yes, that's what I'm calling Conor McGregor fans because Conor McGregor fans are acting like he didn't do anything wrong and it's okay for him to not have to do what's required of him so but yeah so is this their way of saying that conor mcgregor lost to nate diaz because he had to promote and he couldn't focus on fighting that's a load of shit okay because conor mcgregor had a lot more time to train than nate diaz did because if memory serves me correctly nate diaz didn't have a full training camp or have a training camp at all i don't remember which he went into that fight, showed up, fought, and won. Conor McGregor didn't lose because he had to do media. Okay, He lost because Nate Diaz was better than him that night. And sure, maybe that's a, a, a spur in the saddle of Conor McGregor, but that's MMA. If you don't like it, go get a 9-to-5 job. Go do something else. Conor McGregor should not be allowed to not do the things that's required of him that every other fighter does. Because then that's saying that he's better than everybody else. And all these people on social media, like I said, the conversation that I had, were saying, no, he doesn't think he's better than everybody else. Then what the fuck does it mean then, folks? If he doesn't want to do something but everybody else does have to do, he doesn't want to do it one time, but everybody else has to, that means that you, Conor McGregor, 
Here's my finger, pointing right at you, McGregor. I think you're better than everybody else. That they have to, and you don't. That's bullshit. Fact of the matter is, like my friend Travis said, is Dana White the boss of the UFC? Yes, he is. Along with Lorenzo and Frank Fertitta. So if they tell Conor McGregor that he has to do something, he should do it. Like any other job in any, any other state, in any other country, in any other profession. Your boss tells you to do something, you do it or you get fired. Simple. That's the way life is. That's the way sports are. In my opinion, the UFC needs to stop treating this guy like he's more special and better than everybody else because of the amount of money he brings in. Why? Because that's why they're in the position that they're in now with him. Because they treat him like he's bigger than everybody else. They treat him like he's the second coming of Jesus Christ. And his and that just f- fans the flames of his ego. That's a fact. All you people in the Conor McGregor fanboy nation out there, you can say that that's not the case and I'm wrong. But if you say it, you look in the mirror and you know, and I'll show you a liar because you know it's true. Conor McGregor walked out on the UFC. He walked out on the fans by saying. I'm retiring, taking his ball and going home because he didn't want to promote. Bullshit. You didn't lose a fight because, like I said, you, you, you had to stop and do interviews. You lost a fight because your opponent was better than you and because you failed to beat him. Okay, and, you know, it's just ridiculous that anybody would put this guy back up on a pedestal knowing that he did wrong. And that's that's an insult. That's a that's disrespectful to the people that have come before Conor McGregor, the people that are in the UFC now that bust their ass on a daily basis to make money for their families, feed their families, pay their bills. And are dedicated to the sport that they love. That's disrespectful to guys like the late Kevin Randleman. Who busted his ass to be an MMA fighter. That's disrespectful to a guy like the late Evan Tanner. Conor McGregor should not be treated like he's special. Not treated like he's better than everybody else. Because he isn't. He's an MMA fighter who fights in the UFC, and he should be treated the same like everybody else. Because you know damn well, all of you out there, my viewers, you know damn well that any of any other champion out there would have not defended his title for the length of time that Conor McGregor has. He would have had that belt taken away from him. Okay. Or if, like, look at Nick Diaz, for example. Nick Diaz no-showed, much like Conor McGregor did, and and Nick Diaz had everybody jumping down his throat. When Ronda Rousey lost to Holly Holm and she took the time off to heal mentally, physically, and emotionally, everybody jumped on her for not doing it. Everybody treats, um, what's her fake name, uh, Angela Magana, uh, uh, Beck Rawling, like they're the Antichrist when they state their opinions. But yet Conor McGregor does that shit, and he's treated like the conquering fucking hero. And that's ridiculous. And like I said, that's disrespectful. And that's a joke, and it's an insult. And for anybody, for anybody to support that, you're just fucking, like I said, fanning the flames of his ego and you're perpetuating the lie that Conor McGregor is better than everybody else. Because like I said, he's not. And it's unfair for anybody to treat him that way when there are so many other fighters, male and female, 
They bust their ass on a daily basis. They don't get half of the shit that Conor McGregor does. I mean, look at uh, Frankie Edgar. I've said it in the past. Frankie Edgar has busted his ass to get a title shot, and he's gotten shit. Just so, just so Conor McGregor could get what he wanted. There are so many women in MMA, in the UFC, that, that have to, and, and probably not just the women, and probably I'm sure some of the men have to do this too, that have to sell memorabilia of theirs to make money for training camp. Whereas once again, Conor McGregor gets treated like gold and he does this shit that he's done. And I I don't call him a salesman like everybody else does. I call him rude and disrespectful, just like the way he treats his opponents. He does all these interviews and he disrespects them. Where, Where, once again, like I said, other people say things and they're treated like the Antichrist. Okay. That's not right. It's not fair to other people that this guy gets treated the way he does and gets away with it. In order for somebody like him to learn, and no, you know what? You know what, folks? Fuck that. He needs to be treated like everybody else just because he's no different than anybody else. Now, this is just my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. This is... I'm just giving you guys my opinion on my channel about this guy who I don't like and I don't respect and I refuse to give one ounce of fucking respect. And I respect everybody in MMA because they've earned it. Conor McGregor hasn't in my, for me because of everything that he does and everything that the UFC lets him get away with. And they know they shouldn't, but they do because of the money he brings in and all this other crap. The bottom line is the UFC needs to get it through their thick skulls. And bottom line is they know it because Dana White just said it recently on UFC tonight. They need to get it through their thick skulls that they're the reason why Conor McGregor is the way he is. And they need to stop doing it so that way he'll learn that he's no better than anybody else because he isn't. And once again, like I said, this is just my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Ignore it. Take it under consideration. Do what you want, folks. I'm not forcing my opinion on anybody. I'm just giving it. Because like I said, once again, to be repetitive, the UFC needs to stop blowing smoke up Conor McGregor's ass. Stop fanning the flames of his ego. All you fanboy nation out there for Conor McGregor, y'all know what he's doing is wrong. Come out and admit it. Get off this guy's nuts. Stop fanning his ego by saying, oh, good king. Da, 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 da. He ain't no fucking king. He ain't better than anybody else. I don't give two shits what he's brought into MMA. Conor McGregor is one of those people, in my opinion, that it was wrong with sports. With the egos that are only interested in the money and themselves and they don't give a shit about the sport that they're in or, or, or the fans that pay to see him. Because if he did, and I know I know he said in the past that he's helping MMA get seven figure deals now and all this other shit. Why don't you take some of those seven figure deals, Connor, and give some of that money to some of the fighters that have to sell their stuff just to be able to have a training camp? Why don't you do that? Why don't you take that big mouth of yours, go to the UFC, and say, sign me to face Frankie Edgar for the title. Be a fucking champion and defend your belt. Enough is enough with this high and mighty bullshit. Okay, you ain't Rocky fucking Balboa because you came from nothing and you got money. Okay, because remember one thing, Connor. I saw those Rocky movies too, brother. And Rocky lost every fucking thing in the end. And the last one in, 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 in the, the Creed movie, homie had freaking a disease, a killer disease. So you want to be like Rocky? You go right ahead. You be like Rocky.